time I was a little girl. My dreams had always been markedly different from other children of my age. It was a vision that had obviously been nurtured by my father's bedtime stories about Wright Brothers and Edison. So those were the fascinating stories which impacted my childhood days. And my father always says, take the path less traveled by and the whole world will follow you. So my first interest in my childhood days was painting. So I have received prize from the district collector in those days. So then I was attracted towards dance, especially Bharatanatyam. So I had no masters. I just learned the dance movement from TV programs. And I became a popular kid in my kindergarten school for my different dance style. And it was a proud moment for me when I received a prize from the hands of Mrs. Lata Rajanikan for a dance performance when I was seven years old. So during these days, my interest was shifted towards science. And uh, I took part in a school science exhibition and won first prize for the burglar alarm system, which I designed. So this encouraged me to attempt more and more projects in science. So when I was 12, the district level science exhibition was organized in our school itself. And knowing my passion in science, my teachers motivated me to win a prize for our school at any cost. So at that time, I happened to read this newspaper report in which the then railway minister, Lalu Prasad Yadav, has mentioned that people should not throw any waste papers or teacups on the railway track. If so, they'll be fined and penalized. So I got the spark of my fourth invention, high-tech train toilet, from this newspaper report. So what I have done in this is, I have fitted a storage tank beneath the train toilet, which is connected to a solenoid wall, which is just an open closed type wall, and which is in full control with the engine driver in single switch. So when the train approaches the station, the engine driver will switch it off. So this wall will be closed and all the wastages will be stored on the storage tank. It will not be dumped on the station in, uh, in track in the station. So when the train passes out of the station and goes on running, the engine driver will switch it on. So this wall opens and the wastages that are stored will be dumped on the outer track where there is no human habitat. So I designed this and I got first prize in that exhibition. So then I was selected for state science exhibition, where I had not received even a consolation prize, though my project was very much appreciated by both the public and media. So all the participants and teachers argued with the CEO, and they demanded justice for me. And finally, my name was included in the Southern Indian Science Fair. So I participated in that exhibition, and I won first prize in that exhibition, which was jointly organized by all five southern states of India. So encouraged by this prize, I wrote a letter to Dr. Kalam, the then president of India, to allow me to make a demo of my high-tech train toilet. So I got the invitation, and I presented, uh, uh, made a demo with, uh, of uh, the high-tech train toilet with the president. And I also met uh, the railway minister of states. So meeting with Dr. Kalam at Rashtrapati Bhavan was one of the best moments in my life. And I'm still perceiving the citation that is signed by him and I consider that this is one of the greatest award in my life than any other national and international award that I have won so far. So disappointment awaited me when I got back home. My name had not been included in the National Science Exhibition, citing the reason that I had not won any prize in the state-level science exhibition. So the jubilation of the Delhi trip was dampered, but I never lost hope. So in the meantime, I received a letter from the then Prime Minister of India congratulating me for my young age achievements. So this was a big boost for me in those dark days. And in the meantime, the Chennai Press Club invited me to share my experience in meeting with Dr. Kalam. And in that meeting, I expressed my inability to participate in the national level science exhibition. So this news appeared all over the country, which mounted pressure on the government. So the next day, the governor of Tamil Nadu had invited me to Rajpavan and was very kind enough to hear my problem. And on his intervention, a special invitation to attend the National Science Exhibition reached me by fax at the last moment. And uh, due to want of time, I went to Raipur Chhattisgarh by flight, and that was my first flight journey. Thus, after a long battle, I attended the National Level Science Exhibition and received first prize in that exhibition and finally proved that my project is worthy a national award. So then I was invited to a 93rd Indian Science Congress, an assemblage of scientists from all over the world at Hyderabad. So President Dr. Kalam came there to interact with the student participant, 
And I also received a special prize there for the same project, High Tech Train Toilet. Then my third meeting with Dr. Kalam happened at New Delhi again when he came to inaugurate the World Toilet Submit 2007. So I was a special invitee for this conference and in which 46 countries participated. So I presented my research paper on the disposal of trained toilet wastages on the railway track at my age of 14. And the media in Delhi reported that I could perhaps be the youngest person in the world who presented a research paper in a world level conference at a tender age of 14. So thus, in spite of various hurdles, I have gone sh from strength to strength, from school level to, state, to southern Indian level to national level and then to international level. So if I had not attempted further after losing in the state level science exhibition, I would not have come up to this level and I would not have met Dr. Kalam three times in one year. So I firmly believe that it was my qualities of patience and perseverance which helped me to achieve all these success. So now I'm going to tell you about my seventh innovation. So it was 2008 and I had just completed my SSLC exam and I was waiting for my result. So at that time, the TV channel flashed the news that fire at SSLC exam validation center and thousands of ancestors got burned. So I was very much shocked because I had written my SSLC exam in that batch itself. And the paper report said that leftover flames of the seals might be the reason for the cause of fire. So this is a traditional way of affixing lac seal. So they use inflammable materials to affix this kind of lac seal, which is very dangerous and risky job. It might cause fire accidents, fire burn injuries to the person who is affixing the seal. And while affixing the seal, the official had to depend on a particular person like Pune to do this work with great caution. And it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes to affix one particular seal. So there are lots and lots of drawbacks in that. So thereby I designed a flameless seal maker. So it's a very safe uh, electrical device. I have not used any inflammable materials. Just by using the electrical power supply, it works. Just we have to load the lag, give the electrical power supply, it gets heated, melted, and just by pressing the piston on the top, we can control the flow of the lag and we can affix seals. And we can affix about 100 seals in 20 minutes using my flameless seal maker. So I received the national award, that is Ignite 2009 for the seal maker from the hands of Dr. Kalam at IA Ahmedabad. So that was the fourth meeting with Dr. Kalam, and there Dr. Kalam himself affixed a seal using my flameless seal maker. So then when I was taking my plus two exam, I faced another big problem. So I was invited to present my flameless seal maker at IASC Bangalore, but this date clashed with my plus two practical examination. So if I clear the interview, I would get exempted from qualifying IIT JE and will get direct admission in one of the IASCR. So both this ex uh, exam and the interview was equally important for my academic career. But many advised me to skip the interview and just to concentrate on the plus two practical examination. But I never lost hope. So I wrote a letter to the district collector praying for help. And on his intervention, the practical exam for the whole school was rescheduled, paying way for me to attend both the exam and the interview. So I did well in the interview and I became a KVPA scholar and thus got exempted from qualifying IIT JE exam and I got direct admission in IASC at Bhopal. So I consider this postponing a board practical exam for a single student as a great achievement of merit and talent. And all the rigid rules became flexible before talent and merit in my case. So you may wonder that as many as 45 million seals are affixed in India in nine lakh polling stations during the election process. So knowing the usefulness about my device, Dr. Kuraishi, the then election commissioner of India, had invited me for a presentation of my flameless seal maker. And there I made a 65 minutes presentation before the election commission. And in the following up, my, uh, the election commission successfully test checked my uh, flameless seal maker in two polling booths in Kanyakma district in the last Tamil Nadu assembly election. So this was the first time in India a government seal was affixed without using a naked flame. And this was the first time a school student idea was implemented by the mighty government. So now I'm going to tell you uh, another story about my eighth intervention. So I visited Japan as a guest invitee of government of Japan. So during this 10 day trip, I had to travel in bullet train or flight to attend various functions in several cities of Japan. I was just 16 years old and I was traveling alone. And I found very difficult to lift my luggage and to place it on the trolley or to place it on the conveyor bed in the airport. 
So thereby, I got the idea of this eighth invention, mechanical porter. So unlike the ordinary luggage trolley, this mechanical porter can do all the three works that the manual porter can do. It can lift, place, and carry the luggage. And hence, I named it after mechanical porter. So here, the platform of the mechanical porter is movable, so it can be moved up and down just by using the hand pedal or foot pedal. So I got Ignite 2010 award again for this for my mechanical porter. So by this, I again got a chance to meet Dr. Kalam for the sixth time and received the Ignite 2010 award from his hands. So Ignite 2010 was uh, my last chance in the Ignite as I completed my plus two at that time. However, Sri Anil Gupta, the executive chairman of National Innovation Foundation, which conducts his Ignite competition every year, announced me as a uh, regional coordinator and asked me to, requested me to help her to mobilize more entries for NIF. So as such, I visited several schools and uh, gave motivational speeches and mobilized more entries for Ignite. In due course, I became a motivational speaker. So motivated by my speech, many students across India had requested me for guidance and support. So I have started a website specially for this purpose so that I could help them through online. And now I have assumed a new role as a technology educator. And because of my tireless work during 2013, two school students have won the Ignite National Award under my motivation and guidance. So I shared this happy news with the district collector of Kanyakumari, and he encouraged me to open an innovation center especially for school students. So now let me give a brief about my center. So it's Marsha Innovation Center, a service center to make students innovative. And the main aim of this center is to inculcate creativity and inventiveness among school students of India. So school students come up with several innovative ideas to my center. So I have a fabricator and mentor in my center. So we all work together to make his or her idea to a prototype device. And we also help them to file patent. We apply uh, their idea to several uh, state and national level conferences and competitions. So, so far, I'm proud to say that so far six students have won the prestigious national award through my innovation center. And initially this innovation center was started by the financial support from my grandmother. So later I got many financial support from the philanthropists across the country. So now I would like to mention about Jagad Yatra, which helped me in setting up my innovation center. So during 2013, I was one among the 400 selected youth who performed this 15 days train journey across uh, the country. And in that uh, trip, I met several uh, successful entrepreneurs and unsung heroes of India and learned in person how they became successful. And at the end of this trip, I turned myself from being a job seeker to a job creator as well as a social entrepreneur. And besides running my innovation center as a non-profitable organization, now I have developed a business plan conducting creative science classes in some schools on payment basis. And I have appointed staffs uh, accordingly. And this, is, this uh, scheme was de designed uh, based on an innovative syllabus, which was designed by me. And it has no exams at all. It's completely practical oriented. So I'm now planning to extend this scheme to other schools in my district by appointing more teachers as well. And now I am an entrepreneur myself, besides being a college student. So here I would like to mention about my recent United States trip. So I got the spark of setting up my business idea from, this, uh, from my recent two weeks entrepreneurial training at uh, Silicon Valley, United States. So now I'm happy uh, to note that there's a financial grant from one of the foundation in United States. So now my aim, my dream to uh, develop my center to a national center of excellence is going to be materialized soon. So in the last 10 years and so, even as a student, I have gone from strength to strength. And now I would uh, like to recall it and dedicate them at the feet of Dr. Kala. So the extent from appearing IITJ exam and getting direct admission at uh, one of the IACR, meeting with Dr. Kalam six times, getting rare opportunity of meeting with uh, two Indian presidents, uh, five chief ministers, and three governor, uh, four governors, including Modiji, and uh, getting my project implemented by the election commission, and visited many countries and guided many school students across the country. So this was all possible because I 
look beyond the curriculum and beyond the campus. So even as a small kid, I started my activity first as an artist and then as a dancer. So then as a grown-up child, I turned myself to be a project maker. So then I became an inventor. And so far, I have 12 inventions to my credit. So then I moved forward to the next level as a technology educator and project guide to several school students. And due course, I became a motivational speaker too. So I have traveled about 1.5 lakh kilometers across the country and uh, visited many schools and met about uh, 7 lakh students in the mission to popularize creative science among the school students. So now I'm an entrepreneur as well, and I have given jobs to engineering students. So now I'm standing before you proudly keeping my head high, saying that I'm a disciple of Dr. Kalam. Yes, I was just a seed sown by Dr. Kalam 10 years back when I met him first at Rashtrapati Bhavan when I was 12 years old. So this seed has become a small tree now and started uh, providing inspiration to the next generation. And it was just Dr. Kalam's vision which inspired me and guided me to achieve all these success. And I'm not alone. There are hundreds and thousands of students who are uh, working hard to realize Dr. Kalam's dream. So like every other Indian, I truly believe that Dr. Kalam had, has not been buried but sought. Thank you.